Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio, so today we need to have a look at a bunch of new products that have gone and been revealed. They've actually gone and been listed on Banter Toys over in Australia, but regardless, we've got new products, and these are things that make me very, very happy, including a new collector's chest. Now, I, I do a video every couple of months on average where I look at the best Pokemon TCG products to buy right now. Of all the things that are on the market or about to be on the market, these are the products that are, well, best to pick up. And I like to do it for certain groups of people. One of them is children. And one of my running themes in those videos is these collector's chests are great for kids. You get guaranteed promos. But you also get like a full-on lunchbox. And I don't pick up these collector chests very often, but I've had a few over the years. My children steal the chests. The actual lunchbox thing, that they get stolen by my children like every time. They love them. These are very, very cool products for children. But we haven't actually had one for ages now. Like the last one we had... Had the promos of the first part of the Pokemon from Legends Arceus. It's been a long time since we had one of these. Well, it's back now, ladies and gentlemen. And that is awesome. But also kind of sad. Because we know some stuff about it. But there's also a bunch of stuff we don't know. So I can tell you that the chest has Coridon and Maridon on the front. Because you can literally see it here. And I can tell you that on the back of the chest, you've got the first part of the Pokemon from the Paldea region. Your Sprigatito, your Fue Coco, and your Quaxley. That's a fact. And that's about it. I can tell you that there are going to be promos. Partly because there's literally always promos. And partly because it literally says, Free foil cards featuring Sprigatito, Fue Coco, and Quaxley. So we know that we're going to be getting promos here. There's going to be three of them. They're going to be foil. That's going to be lovely. What we don't know is what these actually are. And there's a decent chance that they are literally just the ones from Scarlet and Violet. And there was only one of each of those in the main set because some got taken out as promos. So maybe it's these. This is absolutely a possibility. And if I had to guess, and let's be 100% clear, it is nothing but to guess right now, as it's the best I can do, I'd say, yeah, maybe it's these. These make sense. They were in Scarlet and Violet, so it makes sense that they would be popped in here as foil promos. That makes sense. And to be fair, that did make sense. That made perfect sense. But between making this video and uploading this video, it turns out that we've actually now got an image of the inside of the product. So we can see here that it is actually a different trio of promo cards here. They are actually cards which are going to be printed in Paldea Revolved. So that's where they're coming from. But again, these will be, you know, hollow versions of them. So they're still promos and they're still very cool. While I'm here, we should also say that there is a confirmed release date of the 4th of August. And it is confirmed to have an MSRP of $30. As a side note, all the products I'm looking at in this video are coming out on the 4th of August. We didn't have a release date when I started this video. We do now. It's all coming out on the 4th of August. If at any point later in the video I say we don't have a release date, ignore me. We do. It's the 4th of August. Maybe. Maybe not. Best I can do for you right now. The full list of stuff you get in here is booster packs. Six of them. Three foil cards featuring Sprigatito, Fue Coco, and Quaxley. A coin. Four sticker sheets, a mini portfolio, those are the little binders that have one card per page, and a code card for Pokemon TCG Live, which you will notice is very, very similar to what we saw in the last one, except we've actually gone up to six booster packs from the five we had before, and we're adding in a coin. I don't have a price for this as it stands at the moment, for which I can only apologize, but I do think it's likely that with the extra booster pack and the cost of products just going up generally at the moment, it probably is going to end up being a little bit more expensive. Sorry about that. But that is not the only product that's gone and been revealed over the past day. There are a couple of others that are coming, including, well, 
Would you like an Eraser? Because if so, I've got wonderful news. The Pokemon TCG Eraser Blister, and there are two of them featuring Lechonk and Smoliv. I love these. Now, one thing that does need to be borne in mind here, and I do think this is very important, we can't guarantee the packs. Now, the stock image we've got shows one pack of Scarlet and Violet and one pack of Paldea Evolved. That makes perfect sense. And if I had to guess, I'd say it's fairly likely that this would be real. I think this is about right. It is not in any way, shape or form guaranteed. Please remember that these are stock images. They are often correct. It is not guaranteed that they're correct. And even when they are correct, packs can change over time. So what was in the, you know, in terms of packs, what was in the product when they were first released is not necessarily what's in the months later. But remember, we have had these before a little while ago. We got a similar kind of pair of products featuring erasers of Pikachu and Eevee. And they were pretty cool. I actually saw these. And this is a very nice example. I saw these in London recently in Forbidden Planet. And I didn't get a picture. And I'm sorry about that. I should have got a picture. But there was a crowd of people. And I would have had to wait or ask people to move. And it just got a little bit awkward. But they had these with evolving skies. And I'm telling you they had evolving skies in. I saw it with my own eyes. Didn't take a picture. Sorry and all that. But they had evolving skies. Which firstly, if you see them, there aren't that many places to get evolving skies nowadays, so that might be one to jump on. But secondly, it's a nice example, because of course the stock images we were given for these had Chilling Rain and Sword and Shield base. But the ones I saw the other day had evolving skies. I can't remember what other pack they had, because I was too gosh darn excited about seeing evolving skies. Uh, I didn't actually buy them, which is in hindsight dumb. But I was kind of running and I was in a hurry and I was buying other stuff. And look, I should have bought them, all right? But the point is, the packs for these will change over time. Now, if we have a look at the back, get ready for your next project with a Pokemon Eraser. Looking for the perfect Eraser for a new project or a new class? You can choose a favorite Pokemon Eraser and add to your Pokemon TCG collection at the same time. Inside, you'll find one of two favorite Pokemon Erasers featuring Smoliv or Lechonk and two Pokemon TCG Booster Packs to expand your collection. Now, we don't have a price for these, but I feel pretty confident these are going to be 10 bucks. Maybe they'll put them up to 11 because the packs have gone up by 50 cents each, but these were 10 bucks before. And the thing to bear in mind, 10 is a really nice round number, and especially when you're trying to sell these to children and parents, etc., 10 looks so much better than 11, or it'll actually be 9.99, which people, it's called psychological pricing. People see 9.99, and they think less than 10. And everybody claims they don't fall for it, but if nobody fell for it, companies wouldn't keep doing it. And yet companies do keep doing it. So yes, pretty much everybody does fall for it, even though everybody will claim they don't fall for it. See if you can make sense of that. But yeah. Pokemon rubbers or erasers, we call them rubbers in the UK, erasers works just fine as well. And you get a couple of booster packs, these are cool. Do remember that they are by their very nature erasers, which means if you use them, the Pokemon will literally start to wear down and disintegrate as you use them, <laughs> which could end up being a little bit horrifying. I'll leave that one up to you. But there is one more thing that has gone and been revealed, and it is exactly the same kind of thing we saw last time we saw these erasers. It is a Pokemon TCG pencil tin, and we've got a nice description on the back. Get ready for class with Pokemon. When you're ready for a day in class, organize your pens and pencils and have a little fun at the same time by adding to your Pokemon TCG collection. The Pokemon TCG Back to School Pencil Case includes a sturdy tin for storing pens and pencils and two Pokemon TCG Booster Packs. We have no idea what the packs are. They're not shown in the stock images. We'll have to wait until these actually get out into the world and people start opening them up. And we do have a look at the back of the pencil case. Obviously, Pikachu's on the front. And we have a good look at the front. It's not even obstructed by anything, which is lovely. So we've got Pikachu on the front. And then on the back, as I'm sure some of you have probably already guessed, we've got the first part of the trio of Fuecoco, Sprigatito, and Quaxley. 
it's a cool pencil case that also gets you a couple of boosters. Now, again, last time this retailed for $10, and we know the price of packs, etc., has gone up, so maybe it's going to be more expensive. I do not know the price of any of these. That is very, very important. But again, if you think about who they're trying to sell this to, $9.99 is just such a good price for it. I don't think they'd raise it to $11. This is pure speculation on my part, but I do think that is a fair assumption to make. So yeah, you get yourself a pencil case and a couple of packs. And it's honestly kind of cool they did this before. And look, if you're a real serious Pokemon TCG player, you're probably going to look at this and go, I don't care. And that's fine. But if you have kids who are going to school, it's a great excuse to get them an awesome pencil case with a couple of packs in also let's put them side by side for a second this is better than the other one i feel really confident i can't remember what the back of the other one looked like and i don't have a picture saved on my computer but it, it's not gonna have anyone better than fue coco one so i don't even really care and the front of them is definitely better i really like this and i'm gonna be honest with you my, my kids are a bit too young to need pencil cases going to school if they weren't i would legit be buying one of these for each of my kids because what other better pencil case are they going to find? None. That's what. Right, there we go. Three new products. I've told you all about them, and now it's over to you guys. Tell me what you think about these. Tell me how excited you are. Tell me if you're going to be picking these up. Tell me anything you want to tell me in the comment section. Go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about Pokemon and card games and Pokemon card games, all kinds of fun things. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, join a Discord, and chat with us about Pokemon or anything else, and generally have a lot of fun. And get shoutouts on the channel, like the lovely MattDS1993, who is a very lovely person and has been supporting for a while, so shout out to them for the support and the loveliness. But by far the most important thing is always... Look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.